Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I will show you how to clean the fan and heatsink of this Acer Aspire laptop. The model number is V15 V3574G54 VY. It's got a Core i5-5200U and a GT940M uh, NVIDIA graphics card. So anyways, as you can see, this thing is overheating. Probably because the fan and the heatsink both are dirty. So as you can see GPU is at 83 degrees and CPU is touching 100 degrees and yes it does thermal throttle as you can see FPS have dropped down to 13. 15. So let the laptop sit idle for about 10 minutes and the temperatures have dropped. Now you can see the frame rates are also much better. It's uh, about 30 FPS and uh, we are averaging around 93 so it's getting hot once again and it will thermal throttle in just a moment and the fan is running at maximum but yeah i can't feel any air coming out of here it is coming out but it's not that much and uh, still running fine though all right so you can see the laptop is now thermal throttling cpu is at 100 degrees fan is running so there's nothing wrong with the fan, I think it's just dirty. So no apps are running in the background, but you can see the processor is idling around 60, 61 degrees. That's way too hot. All right, so let's turn this thing off and uh, start cleaning it. And for this, you'll need a brush like this to clean the heatsink out and you'll need a star head screwdriver. And I will link a similar type of screwdriver in the video description. You guys can go ahead and purchase it from there. Alright guys, before you begin, make sure that the uh, power adapter is unplugged from your laptop. And by the way, if your laptop is under warranty, go ahead and give it to an Acer authorized service center. Uh, don't do this yourself if your laptop is under warranty. But if you're out of warranty and if your fan's dirty and your laptop thermal throttles while gaming, go ahead and do this. And uh, first off, we'll start by removing this screw. This screw, rem uh, this screw allows you to remove the optical drive. And in my case, I have installed a secondary hard drive over here. And if you want to install a secondary hard drive, go ahead and check my tutorial. Link is down in the video description. And make sure to keep these screws somewhere safe. So right now the uh, screw is out. So I can go ahead and remove the optical drive slash secondary hard drive. And you need to be very careful when you do this. So gently just remove it from its socket and there you go there is my secondary hard drive so I'm gonna keep this over here and then you'll need to remove these three screws man for this particular Acer model there are a lot of screws so we'll need to remove all of these screws including these these ones at the back and I think something came out from over there this pad All right, so once all of these screws are out, you'll need to gently pry the casing up. I like to use my fingers, but unfortunately my nails aren't that big, so uh, it's gonna be a little tough, but you'll need to gently pry the casing like this. And the uh, casing should unclip automatically. So yeah, there we go. It comes off like this, and be very gentle when you do this because there is a wire which goes into the back uh, back lid here for the speakers so just open up like this and uh, you can see there is a wire here which goes to the uh, back casing so we'll remove that so just gently remove this we'll need to reattach this when we close the laptop back up and this one goes into the speakers so yeah, yeah this is necessary there's a lot of dust inside here you can probably see uh, all the dust in the fins but yeah you might be able to tell why, why this thing wasn't cooling properly you can see all this dirt but yeah single heat pipe solution there's the core i5 processor there's the there is the uh, nvidia graphics card the ram for uh, the uh, gpu 512 megabytes each so this uh, this one is 2 gigabyte graphics card and we have 8 gigabyte RAM sticks over here and also one thing I'm gonna do is unplug the battery so that nothing goes wrong 
So there you go, battery is now unplugged. Okay, so let's see if I can do this with one hand. So first thing you'll need to do is remove this little wire. This goes into the fan. So just pull it out and it should come out like this. So this, this is the fan connector. Then take your screwdriver and open up these screws. Make sure these screws are separate from the ones that we took out earlier. So now the screws are out. Now we can just remove the fan. And oh my gosh, you can see how dirty this thing is. So I think this is this was the reason why no airflow was coming out. Yeah, it's even got hair inside. Anyways, I'm going to clean this up with a liquid. I'm just going to be using a regular glass cleaner. I'm going to put the glass cleaner on a tissue paper and then I'm going to wipe this off. So I just have this tissue paper. It is wet from the glass cleaner and I'm just going to wipe this out here. And just gently do this. You know, at first I thought I'll clean this with the brush, but I think it's a little bit too dirty for that. So I'm just going to do this. And then after this, I'm going to clean it with the brush. Same thing with the fan. I'm just going to wipe it off with the wet cloth. Probably not a good idea to do this over the motherboard. So now for final touches, I'm just cleaning it with my brush here so that we can get out all of the dust. And then for the fan, I'm going to do this and hopefully all the uh, crud will come out. And you can see it is coming out here. You don't want to put too much pressure on these fans that might damage their bearings. But yeah, try and be a little bit firm. And this thing is really dirty from the inside. Yeah, yuck. That's disgusting. Oh yeah, so this is all the crud that came out of the heat sink and the fan. So now the fan is clean. So no dust blocking the fan at all. And uh, the heat sink is also now clean. At least you can see the other side uh, without any problems. So yeah, I also blew some air uh, from here and all the dust just came out. I also cleaned this part. There was a lot of dust here and here. I uh, just used my brush and I gently brushed it. So yeah, this laptop is now clean. Let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, I've cleaned out my desk. So to reattach the fan, all you need to do is just place it in its position and then just screw it on there. So one screw goes here. Just go ahead and tighten it up with your screwdriver 
and you can see I'm doing this with one hand absolutely no problem the second screw goes here just tighten it up and then don't forget to plug this thing in so all you need to do is plug in your fan just like that and then plug in your battery if you have disconnected this and now we can go ahead and put the lid back on as you can see this thing is so much better now okay now we'll reattach the back cover and attaching the back cover is a little bit tricky on these Acer laptops so first off you'll need to reconnect the speaker wire it goes into this connector here so it's very easy to do this just plug it in and now comes the hard part so just a second so we need to align these properly in order for the case to close so we try and do that all right so now you just have to uh, put some pressure on the case and the clips will lock into place just like that all right so once the back cover is properly clipped down we can now go ahead and start screwing these screws back in so first off i'm gonna put these three screws here which are below the optical drive All right, so for the final part, the optical drive slash secondary hard drive goes in and goes in like this. Just insert it here. And uh, there you go. And now this is the final screw. I'm going to screw it in. All right, so the game has been running for about half an hour now and absolutely no issues. No more thermal throttling. The frame rates are hovering around 28 to uh, 40 and that's, that's because the game is running at maximum settings and this is just a GT 940M but yeah the maximum temperature on the CPU I've seen is 81 degrees and the GPU seems to hover around 70 so that's about 19 degrees difference so earlier it used to uh, touch 100 degrees so I think if I launch the hardware monitor and you can see here the maximum okay so maximum temperatures are 82 degrees so 81 82 more or less the same but yeah that's quite an improvement and the best part is it's not thermal throttling anymore anyways guys this little project has been a success and yeah a lot more air is coming out of these vents now all right so thank you for watching my video do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.